welcome friends welcome to the lecture series of digital electronics <clears throat> so in this session we are going to learn about the analog and digital conversion analog to digital conversion and digital to analog conversion so there are several methods to do this but first we understand that what do we exactly mean by the analog signal and digital signal see this is my analog signal as you have seen and it is continuous signal that contains time varying time varying quantities such as temperature or speed with infinite possible values in between okay yahan pe aap dekh rahe ho ki ek sath bahut sari values attain kar raha hai theek hai jo time ke sath vary ho rahi hai random periodic agar aap dekh sakte ho to ye bhi ek kind of uh, analog quantity hi hai to analog signals kaise hote hain wo continuous rehte hain aur डिजिटल सिग्नल्स रहते हैं वो डिस्क्रीट रहेंगे मतलब थोड़े टाइम पे अगर आपको कोई अलग वैल्यू मिलेगी मतलब दो ही वैल्यू रहेगी या तो वन रहेगी या जीरो रहेगी सो आइदर इट विल बी गिविंग यू दी वन और इट विल बी गिविंग यू दी जीरो सो दैट इज कोल्ड एज दी डिस्क्रीट सिग्नल ओके सो दिस वे फॉर सपोज यहाँ पे आपको एक एग्जाम्पल दिया गया है थर्मोस्टेट का वो सेवेंटी टू टू डिग्री जो है वो रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है एंड एनालॉग थर्मोमीटर मेजर्स दी रूम टेम्परेचर एट सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट फोर एट टू डिग्री द एनालॉग वैल्यू इज कंटिन्यूस आपको यहाँ पे देख सकते हो कि डिजिटल में पीछे के जो डिजिट से वो नेगलेक्ट हो गए जबकि वो काफ़ी इंपॉर्टेंट रही है जब हमें एग्जैक्ट टेम्परेचर जानना रहेगा तभी ठीक है सो इट विल बी लाइक दैट so we need to convert this values into the particular uh, uh, what we can say discrete values into the continuous values so they in order to we can get the clear idea about that uh, value what is the exact value over there so this way the analog and digital will change there are several advantages disadvantages uh, of analog over digital analog are having unwanted noise in recording uh, transmit data at long distance then unwanted disturbance in, is there and uh, whenever the generation loss is also a big uh, con of analog signals okay bahut bada ek problem hai generation loss jo hota hai digital there are this uh, this type of signals are considered as the digital signals see sine square triangle and so tooth uh this one is also a signal that is of square waves and it will be representing 0 volts and 5 volts between these values uh, no other values will exist 0 or 5 volt hi exist kar rahi hai iske beech mein aur koi uh, values jo hai wo attain nahi karega theek hai so this way it can be uh this is my analog signal approximate values can be achieved from this aapko approximate values jo hai wo aap dekh sakte ho koi bhi point of time pe aap jaake ye cheeze aap note kar sakte ho theek hai so this way uh big difference between analog and digital waves uh, must be analog waves are smooth and continuous as digital waves are stepping square and discrete so these are the uh, differences main differences between these working with electronics means dealing with both analog and digital signals uh, input as well as the outputs okay so our electronic projects have to interact with the real analog world in some way but most of our microprocessors computers and logic units are purely digital components so this way we need to day to day deal by uh, deal with this digital electronics components here you can see this is my adc adc are having two step process uh, analog to digital conversion first of all what do we exactly mean by this adc uh, the two steps which is uh, divided into that is first is quantizing quantizing is nothing but the breaking down analog value is a set of finite states कोई एक पर्टिकुलर स्टेट्स के अंदर उसको डिवाइड कर देना एक फाइनाइट वैल्यू के अंदर डिवाइड कर देना और एनकोड करना मतलब कि हमें पता ही है ऑलरेडी हम एनकोडर के बारे में पढ़ चुके हैं कि एनकोड करना मतलब कोई एक पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू जो है वो एनालॉग में है उसे हम डिजिटल में दिखाने के लिए वी विल एनकोड उसको कोई पर्टिकुलर कोडिंग दे देंगे तो वो उस तरीके से बाइनरी के अंदर रिप्रेजेंट करेगा 
और बाइनरी का जो वैल्यू था वो डिजिटल uh, में हम अंडरस्टैंड uh, करेंगे कि कितनी वैल्यू है ठीक है द फर्स्ट प्रोसेस दिस दैट इज क्वांटाइजिंग दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल स्टेट्स दैट द कन्वर्टर कैन आउटपुट इज एन एन इज इक्वल्स टू टू रेस टू एन वेर एन इज द नंबर ऑफ बिट्स इन द ए टू डी कन्वर्टर दैट इज एनालॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर सो फॉर द क्वांटाइजेशन प्रोसेस हियर इज द फॉर्मूला Vmax minus Vmin divided by the n. N is here, as we can see, that is our two uh, raised to n, and small n is the number of bits. So, if my three uh, bit A to D converter is there, then the number n is equals to eight. So, n will be at the inversely uh, part. So, here you can see this is my one quantization I have done for the zero to six and up to the seven. Uh, so in this way you can uh, design a A to D converter. This is my three bit A to D converter. Uh, we have zero to ten volts, and we need to represent this ten volts by different different means. So this way the quantization can be done. If the value lies between the zero to one point twenty five, then it will be representing the zero states. If it is a uh, Uh, indicating the 1.25 to 2.50, then it is in the one volt, or we can say the one output states will be there. So this way, uh, the quantization process can be done. So as you can get a clear idea from this, uh, how a quantization will be, and uh, what do we exactly mean by the quantization? See, it is very easy, and uh, uh, if you try to learn, then it is very uh, easy, or we can say the Uh, best method to understand this analog to digital conversion. There will be some kind of these things into the actual that we are going to learn further. This is my encoding. See, if I will, uh, if I need to represent zero, then it is uh, all three bits are zero. That is representing the zero. Okay. So this way, the binary uh, of this uh, values will be written over here, and that is called as the Encoding process. If we convert the octal to digit, act octal to decimal, or we can say the binary to decimal. So these are my encoding process. Okay. So uh, all of you must getting a clear idea. Uh, the first thing that is important in this all the uh, process that is my sampling. We need to take samples at a several time intervals of the signal. and uh, from that we can achieve the overall uh, type of signal what whatever whichever will be available at the output terminals so sampling hamara kya karega wo regular time interval pe uske sample lega sample leke jo hai wo uske upar se pura signal kaisa rahega wo ek represent karega so that is my sampling and the more samples you take the more accurately you will define the wave form जितने ज्यादा सैंपल्स रहेंगे उतना एक्यूरेटली आप सिग्नल्स को जो है वो डिफाइन कर सकोगे ठीक है द कन्वर्जन ऑफ दिस एनालॉग सिग्नल इनटू सीरीज ऑफ इम्पल्सिस सीरीज ऑफ इम्पल्सिस में इसको कन्वर्ट करके देगा एंड ईच रिप्रेजेंटिंग सम एम्पलीट्यूड कोई ना कोई एम्पलीट्यूड वो आपको दिखाएगा ऑफ द सिग्नल एट गिवन पॉइंट एट अ पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट पे वो आपको कोई सिग्नल की वैल्यूज जो है वो रिप्रेजेंट करेगा द टाइप्स ऑफ analog to digital converter there are three types first is my analog to digital conversion digital ramp signal or we can say the dual slope or we can say the counter slope adc and and the third that is my successive approximation see this is not much good as uh, previous two methods so this is just a informative of analog to digital conversion about successive approximation okay so for the first adc here you can see the adc will be uh, done in this way there are several op amps are used operational amplifiers and these are my comparators see these are my comparators okay we will use this uh, analog to digital conversion as an uh, sorry operational amplifier as an uh, comparator form okay what it will do it will compare the value of this reference With the existing value of this uh, input, okay? दोनों को compare करेगा यहाँ पर हमने reference के reference दिया हुआ है तो जो भी value दूसरी आपको input में उसको दे दे रहे हो उसके साथ वो compare करेगा and compare and then it will be giving you some 
आउटपुट एट दी आउटपुट टर्मिनल्स अगर ज्यादा है तो वो पॉजिटिव वैल्यू देगा कम है नेगेटिव वैल्यू देगा और इक्वल है देन इट विल बी गिविंग यू दी जीरो आउटपुट एट दी आउटपुट टर्मिनल्स ऑफ दी ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर ओके सो दिस वे ऑफ फ्लैश एडीसी विल वर्क सिंपलेस्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑपरेशनल थियोरी मोस्ट एफिशिएंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पीड एंड वेरी फास्ट लिमिटेड ओनली इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंपेरेटर एंड गेट प्रोपेगेशन डिलेज सो दिस विल बी दी एडवांटेजेस एंड द एट दिस एडवांटेजेस आर दी लोअर रेजोल्यूशन this is also expensive as you can see there are several number of operational amplifiers required several number of resistors required so that will be uh, there and it will be uh, make the it will making the circuit more complex and complex so uh, for the making process it is hard to build up this for each additional output bit the number of comparators is doubled the comparators will be Uh, having the more number of operational amplifier working as an comparator so the second process that is my dual slope adc so here you can see this is my dual slope adc what it will do we are providing the input over here this is my differentiator uh, sorry integrator and it will be giving you at the output terminal so what happen it will be giving you the output terminal and this will op amp will work as an comparator and uh, the end logic is given over here so what it will do whenever the positive value 1 will be working over here and oscillator is also giving giving the high input then and then the control logic will be uh, uh, there and then after it will be giving the signal to the counter and after that counter it will be going to the registers and the register will give you the digital output of this particular values yahan pe humne reference bhi de rakha hai jo reference kya karega wo compare karke jo hai wo value ko aage jaane dega theek hai so this is my uh, dual slope adc as you can see also known as counter ramp or digital ramp adc a dual slope adc is commonly used in measurement instruments okay ये मेजरमेंट के लिए ही जनरली यूज करते हैं तो ये चीजें अभी आपको थोड़ी क्लियर हो रही होगी एंड दिस इज माई सक्सेसिव अप्रोक्सीमेशन एज यू कैन सी दिस सक्सेसिव अप्रोक्सीमेशन इज हैविंग एन अल्गोरिज्म ओके बट इट इज नॉट मच यूजफुल सो वी विल नॉट गो इन टू दी मच डीपर दिस सेक्शन सो ओवरऑल आई विल लेट यू नो अबाउट दिस successive approximation the first that is my start after that it will clear all the bits start at msb most significant bit se ye hai wo start karke dega set bit karega ek ko ek bit jo hai wo set karega agar output jo hai deck ka if it is vs greater than the vs then it will go further have all bits been checked sare bits check ho gaye उसके लिए एक अलग से अल्गोरिथम है अगर नहीं तो वापस से ये प्रोसेस स्टार्ट करो अदरवाइज यू कैन गो फर्दर एंड देन आफ्टर दिस सेक्शन विल कन्वर्ट दी नंबर इनटू टू एक्चुअल वैल्यू दैट इज बीइंग डिस्प्लेड ऑन दी रजिस्टर सो दिस वे द कंप्लीट प्रोसेस मस्ट बी देन ओके सो सबसे सक्सेसिव अप्रोक्सीमेशन इज हैविंग एन एल्गोरिदम एंड दिस एल्गोरिदम कैन बी सेट फॉर दी computers and processors so uh, it's been like that okay, that uh, you need to check all the steps if it is not then you need to go backwards and start from from uh, first step okay uh, this is my particular uh, successive approximation circuit uh, the deck will be there the sar and the srg circuits will be there so that is Uh, okay but uh, we ne don't need to bother about this uh, successive approximation so the adc resolution comparison if you can check then successive approximation is giving you the highest uh, uh, particular approximation uh, but as you can see the flash is also similar to this particular successive approximation so uh, in order to use flash or successive approximation both will be uh, okay but if you go with the speed okay then speed of this uh, flash 
will be having very fast compared to other two okay so i suggest that flash adc will be uh, very good for the particular analog to digital conversion so the process of digital to analog is a uh, seems like this way that some signals are there and uh, we will take the samples as you can see this kind of samples will be taken over there and from this samples the reconstructed signal will be seen like this way okay so yahan pe aap dekh sakte ho ki it will be differing from the original shapes somewhat so that is the my loss of the generation also possible for the uh, adc okay बाइनरी वेटेड रजिस्टर्स जो है वो हम यूज करेंगे बाइनरी वेटेड रजिस्टर्स जो है वो मेरे क्या है तो यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो कि मेरे पास एक फोर बेट रजिस्टर है ये सारे रजिस्टर्स को रजिस्टर्स को हमने बाइनरी वेटेड दिया हुआ है मतलब आर टू आर फोर आर मतलब आप देख सकते हो कि टू के मल्टीप्लीकेशन में सारे चल रहे हैं ठीक है सो देट विल बी कंसिडरिंग फॉर दी ईच एंड एवरी स्टेट ऑफ वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव और अप टू दी एनी वैल्यूज दैट वी डिजायर टू ओके यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो कि जीरो द आउटपुट विल बी जीरो वर्ट एंड जीरो वर्ट एंड वन द आउटपुट विल बी फाइव वर्ट ओके ये दोनों स्टेप्स ही हैं और ये दो स्टॉप स्टेप्स के ऊपर से ही पूरा डिजिटल टू एनालॉग कन्वर्जन पॉसिबल है यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो कि आगे हमने एक ऑप एम लगाया है दैट विल बी गिविंग यू दी एम्पलीफिकेशन of this signal if it is very very less or we can say the having the small values then it is required to use a op amp okay so this way the output voltage can be achieved yahan pe aapko equation diya gaya hai i1 i2 i3 and i4 ki values ko aapko yahan pe enter karna rahega aur feedback resistance hame jo lagaya hai uski values ko hame use karna rahega then it will be uh, comparing or we can say the converting the digital to analog conversion this is my second example so all of you must be getting the i clear idea from this because it is very easy uh, vo is equals to ir that is v is equals to ir and you just need to put the values okay uh, this way my complete digital to analog conversion can be done this is my signal transformation life cycle as you can see that analog is giving then after analog to digital must be converted in this way this is my discrete signal uh this is discrete signal after that digital to analog will be somewhat seen like this way and once again if you convert this to original then it will be different it will be having the same value of as that of original but there will be some losses as due to this uh, transmission between this stages okay so overall my uh difference will be like this way the transmissions difference and uh, the analog to digital conversion difference will be this way all of you must be getting a clear idea you all of you read this thing and uh, try to understand okay so that's all for the adc to dac and uh, we just need to um, learn these things or we can just uh, read from the book then we will get the definitely uh, the idea also refer to this video uh, in order to understand the process of the analog to digital conversion okay so that's all for the uh, analog to digital conversion i hope all of you like the video and uh, definitely you must share and uh, like the video If you want to see more this kind of videos then you should uh, uh, subscribe to my channel thank you for watching the video